Hi guys, HLM99 here. Today I'm gonna bring you to a tabletop review on the 1911. Um, this particular model was made by Kimber, uh, Aegis Elite uh, Customs. Guys, a two and a half pound gun empty is pretty darn heavy for a pistol, you know. Um, I grew up with uh, 1911 and I shoot a lot of 1911 uh, in Vietnam, so in the US. Um, this is a special kind. I mean, <clears throat> you don't see this every day. Um, it's something that people are not get the hand into very much because of high pri uh, price range. Um, you can get them used anywhere from twelve hundred to thirteen to maybe up to fourteen hundred dollar now because of the you know the scarcity of guns. Uh, on a good day, you probably get it for twelve hundred bucks used, easy. Uh, we picked this up used for twelve hundred dollars. Uh, MSRP on this thing was sixteen hundred dollars. Uh, it's a full size gun, very accurate. I mean, you know, with the red dot on this gun, it shoot phenomenally. We have to dial the scope in, maybe about four inches to the left a little at twenty yard. Um, we sighted it in and it shoot perfectly fine. We were able to reach it out to 50 yard easy. Okay. Uh, my brother and I was shooting this gun uh, two days ago on a Saturday and we have a great time. I mean, as soon as we, you know, we took a box of wind test and white box and then we also have some reload. Uh, we shoot some reload through it. It was just a wind test and white box to it. Um, something like this uh, it would take you about maybe about 50 to 75 round to get used to a red dot scope um it's not something that you pick it up and go okay but as soon as you get used to it you get used to the sight <clears throat> it's work phenomenal uh very accurate firearm uh chamber 45 acp um i'm very happy to shoot this gun the trigger on this gun is pretty damn light um we have a trigger gauge at the range and we do a trigger gauge pull on it. This is about 2.9 ish pound pull. Um, as soon as we shoot about maybe maybe about what, 40, 50 round, we, we redo the, uh, the trigger pull weight. It's cut all the way down two and a half pounds. So it's pretty damn light for, for a pistol. Um, on this particular model, a Etis Elite Custom Actually, it came with a built-in Vortex Venom red dot scope right here. And very accurate. Um, we got it dialed in a little bit. And I don't know if the red dot's still on. Let me turn it back on a little bit. So my camera woman can focus in a little red dot in there. Okay. Very, very accurate. Okay. And the top of the scope, uh, I mean the red dot uh, uh, sight here was uh, uh, the elevation. And then on the right side was a um, windage. And I did safety check the gun before, so I had to safety check again. The gun is clear, no round of chamber. Okay. Um, I would say that this gun was based out of the government model, Series 70. Okay, not the Series 80, but the Series 70. To throw it out there, so some of you will, you know, um, just have a question about, you know, what series this uh, 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 slide is based out of. Um, come with a taller, okay, front sight, and a taller rear sight. Um, it's almost, I would say it's almost lined up with the uh, red dot and the, uh, and the front side and the rear side. Okay, almost lined up. But we kind of, I think I have a crooked eye. So we shoot about four or five inches off to the left at 20 yard. So I make some small adjustments. After that, it's perfectly fine. Uh, this gun came with a eight plus one. Okay, Kimber factory mag okay stainless steel love the stainless steel mag and for the slides off uh very dirty okay we put about 120 rounds through this gun and this cost about 
$55 per box of 45 ACP right now. So we spend quite a money, you know, shooting this gun. Um, I had got some left from, you know, a few years back that I bought when the ammo was still pretty cheap. Uh, it came with this very, I wouldn't say aggressive, um, how to say, pretty good handling to make it that way. If you have a sweaty hand, okay, it's Kydec, um, I wouldn't say it's plastic, it's almost Kydec looking um, grips that was preventing you from slicing off your hand. It's also came with the little front uh, strap chickling, okay? And one thing we like was the, you know, the uh, rounded, um, what do you call it, um, uh, a heel, there you go, a rounded heel, okay? Very comfortable gun to shoot, uh, safety, it's on the left side of the firearm, not ambidextrous, nothing on this side, so here's a safety. Uh, trigger pull on this thing was put it on good. Let's see the trigger pull on it was like that's it, nothing. That no take up, very smooth, very very smooth. Um, magazine release also on your thumb on your if you you know if you're a, a, a right like me. It's on the left hand side of the firearm, so you know. Um, let's see, the purpose of this gun probably for home defense is great for home defense, guys. 45 ACP will do a lot of damage to the human tissue. Um, I wouldn't say I claim to see anybody got shot with 45 ACP, but it's good enough to use in the combat to this day. Uh, I think the small units of military still have. Um, 45 ACP in service, so that's on a special force, you know. Uh, I don't think that I would conceive carry this gun uh, based on the weight of this gun, two and a half pound, you know, empty, uh, loaded up, probably 2.75, you know, pound on your weight. It's pretty damn heavy. Um, if you are um, want to want this thing in your truck, great. But I learned my lesson the hard way. I left a good pistol in the truck and somehow forgot to lock my truck and somebody opened the door and stole my uh, pistol. Um, we took the camera footage and saw the guy open the door but too far away so they can't see the face. That's sad. Anyhow, um, the feet ram on this gun was polished Pretty damn good. I don't know if my hammer can read this. The feet ram on this particular model on the on the Kimber, at least they get it polished pretty damn well. Not by them cheap Rock Island or Lama, you know, the Filipino made um, 1911. I wouldn't say it's bad, guys, but the fit and finish of the firearm, uh, you get what you pay for. Um, almost, I mean, you know, you touch the whole gun, you don't see one sharp edge on this gun. So everything was being, you know, uh, no, they don't have a lot of machine mark on them at all. Uh, do a pretty good job of um, deburs it or or take took care of it before they um, put it out. You know, put it in the box. Okay, I love the firearm a lot. I love the pistol a lot. Uh, if I would, if I have a, a you know. Uh, extra money laying around. I would buy, don't buy. I really don't like to buy the pro version, the shorter. Um, what do you call it? A uh, 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 for concealed carry. And great firearm, great gun, very darn accurate. We be able to reach out of the fifty yard um, all day. Uh, maybe I would say seven out of eight that we hit the gong out at fifty yard. Phenomenal firearms. Uh, I don't know if you can get them now. I think Kimber was on the production shortage. I saw some on Gunbroker. Uh, they sell it as high as $1,700 on this particular model of Venoms. I think it's nuts. Uh, Sportman guy um, got him. 
I saw one with the fiber optic for like 1100 bucks brand new. So, you know, if you don't really mind, you can get one of the fiber optics on for, I would say, $500 cheaper than $400 or $500 cheaper than the model that came with the uh, uh, Vortex Venom's uh, Red Dot. There you go. Let's see, recoil is pretty soft. I would say this is one of the softest recoil 45 ever shot. Uh, if you in the market of getting one, go get one. Uh, you can see to buy one of these for concealed carry, I would think twice. Uh, home defense, great gun for home defense. Uh, backup truck gun, maybe not. It's on the expensive side. So what if somebody breaks into your truck and stole your firearms? You know, that's one thing that I, I, I always um, tell myself that not to carry anything expensive in a truck. Yes, I would put in my buck out back. If you have a buck out back, it fit perfectly a buck out back. I don't think it's that heavy if you have a backpack along with other stuff. Adding another two pound, two and a half pound to your um, your backpack, I don't think it would make a big difference, especially on a 1911, very reliable. Um, we shot up 150 rounds yesterday. I, I don't think we have any hiccup on this gun at all. So every round was eject properly and shoot very accurately. Okay. Let's see what I want to be cover. Um, uh, trigger right here. Skeletonize it. I don't know that in, make it look cool or save weight. You know, with this two hole, I don't think I save a lot of weights. Let's see. A beaver tail. Thumb safety, right here, okay, uh, hood it, higher, rear sight and front sight, and if you're looking for buy one of these guys, I wouldn't hesitate to buy one, uh, if you want one just to show off your friend, why not, you know, it's on the higher end, um, 1911th, um, for some of you who don't know, this gun doesn't have the little safety, uh, what do you call it, a safety lever. So it's a uh, Series 70. So still 80 got a little safety lever here that, you know, just make it more safe. You know, just a liability issue, you know. Uh, they call it lawyer proof. Uh, I grew up with a lot of 1911, you know, in Vietnam. I had a lot of Series 70, the old Colt government model. It's, they shoot perfectly fine, very safe. I don't think it's, you know, if you have a good trigger discipline, um, you know what, you know, you're doing. It can be very safe, okay? So, that's all I have for you guys, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, keep America great and save America 2024.